Lesson 1, Hit and Run They were in a crosswalk near school at 3 a.m. Who? Two students from USC. What happened? A speeding car ran a red light, killing the girl. What happened to the other student? He landed on the hood of the car. Did he get off the hood? No, the car stopped and the passenger pushed the injured student off the hood. I'll bet the car continued on its way. Of course it did. Why stop after you've run over two people? I hope they find them and put them in jail for a life. Lesson 2. Windy Weather it sure is windy today. Paper is flying everywhere. This wind is dangerous for drivers. Especially for drivers of big trucks. The wind blows those trucks over. It blows the trees over, too. A tree fell onto my dad's car. Was there much damage? My dad had to buy a new car. Wow, that's terrible. Never park your car under a tree. The wind will get you, or the birds will get you. Lesson 3. What will people think? I don't like riding the bus. Why not? The seats and the windows are dirty. Don't they clean the bus every night? I think they do. You should bring some wipes with you. That's a good idea. Then you can wipe your seat and window. People will think I'm strange. Who cares? Everyone is strange. That's for sure. Don't worry about what people think. Lesson 4. A new car. Let's go for a ride. Where are we going? Into the mountains. That sounds nice. I want to show you my new car. You bought a new car? Yes, I bought a Cadillac. A luxury car. Luxury plus speed. What are we waiting for? Let me get the keys. Let me get my camera. Lesson 5. Beware the carts. What happened to your car? I got a dent in the parking lot. How did you get it? I don't know. Maybe it was from a shopping cart. Those shopping carts are dangerous. Especially the metal ones. I don't park at a store that uses metal shopping carts. That's a good idea, but there was a good sale at this store. Did you save any money on the sale? Yes, I did. I saved about $50. That's great. Yes, except this dent will cost about 150 Lesson 6. Don't ride the bus. I don't like riding the bus. Why not? Number 1. It's too slow. You're right. A car is faster. Number 2. It's usually late. You're right. The buses are never on time. Number three, it doesn't run 24 hours. You're right. Buses don't run late at night. Number four, it's too crowded. You're right. You have to stand in the aisle. Number five, it's unsafe. You're right. Bad guys might rob you. Lesson 7. Wash the car. My car is dirty. Why don't you wash it? That's what I'm going to do. Are you going to wash it yourself? Of course. It's not a hard job. I'll help you. Okay. I'll get a bucket. I'll rinse the car first. Then we can scrub it with a wet sponge and soap. After that, we can dry it with a towel. 
Then it will look like new. And you saved ten dollars. Lesson eight: Don't be in a hurry. You're driving too fast. I'm in a hurry. Don't ever be in a hurry. It's not my fault. You didn't wake me up. That's not my fault. You didn't tell me to wake you up. Well, I meant to. Don't ever be in a hurry when you're driving. Why not? Because you'll have an accident. Most accidents are because people are in a hurry. How do you know that? I read a lot. I thought drunks caused most accidents. Lesson nine: Beat the light. This is such a long light. Look how many cars are waiting in line. They need a left turn arrow. Only two cars can make a left turn every three or four minutes. We'll be here forever. Get out of this lane. But we need to turn left. Forget it. Go straight. Then what? Then we'll just make a U-turn. And then we can turn right at the light. Good idea. It will be so much quicker. Lesson ten: Don't call the police. Did you see that car? Yes, he went through the red light. Can we call the police? No, the police don't care. Why not? They have to see it happen. They didn't believe us. No, they can only give a ticket if they see it happen. So, what do we do? We don't do anything. Uh, maybe we should honk the horn next time. The driver will just honk back at us. Lesson eleven. I'm going to explode. I have to go to the bathroom. Why didn't you go before we left? I did, but I have to go again. Well, hold on a little longer. I think I'm going to explode. Just hold on. Oh, don't hit any more bumps. We'll be at McDonald's in just a few minutes. I hope there are fast minutes. Think about something else. Think about a hamburger. I'm thinking, but I still have to go. It's the next exit. Hold on. Lesson twelve: The crosswalk. Life isn't fair. It sure isn't. I got a ticket yesterday. What for? I was crossing the street. Were you in a crosswalk? Yes, but the red hand was blinking. So that's a ticket. Yes, it's a hundred and forty dollar ticket. That's not right. When I started to cross the street, the white walk sign was blinking. You need to walk faster. Lesson thirteen: Too many cars. Look at this traffic. I'd rather not. It gets worse every year. Why are you complaining? We're going almost twenty miles an hour. The speed limit is sixty-five. Well, that's between two o'clock and four a.m. Where are all these people going? They're all asking the same question. When are they going to fix this problem? They said they need more money. They always need more money. It'll get worse before it gets better. Lesson fourteen: A slow walker. A hundred and forty dollars? I can't believe it. What are you talking about? I I got a ticket downtown for a hundred and forty dollars. Were you speeding? No, I was crossing the street. 
Were you jaywalking? No, I was in the crosswalk. So why did you get a ticket? The officer said that red hand was blinking. Was it blinking when you entered the crosswalk? No, the white walk sign was blinking. You should fight that ticket. I'll be your witness. Lesson 15. Check your tires. Remember to put air in your tires. How often do I have to do that? Once every two months. That's a lot. What do you mean? That's six times a year. Yes, and it takes about five minutes each time. I'll try. Check your tires or you'll get a flat. Oh, that's not good. No, it isn't. A flat costs you time and money. And I don't have either. Lesson 16. Don't cut the tires. We had a problem at school. What was the problem? Someone cut the tires. What tires? The tires on the cars. Where were the cars? They were in the student parking lot. How many tires were cut? One or two tires were cut on each car. How many cars? Eleven cars. That's terrible. I hope they catch the person. Lesson 17, the missing car. Where's the car? What do you mean? The car isn't here. Where did you park it? I parked it right here. Are you sure? Yes, I remember this big tree. Maybe it's the wrong tree. No, this is the, the, the tree. Did someone steal it? I sure hope not. Maybe they towed it away. Lesson 18, a dream car. I need a cheap car. How much money do you have? A thousand dollars. Well, that should get you something. But I need something that's reliable. You need a car with low mileage. A car that was owned by a little old lady? Where have you looked? I haven't looked anywhere yet. Why not? Because I'll never find one for such a low price. You're right about that. Keep saving your money. Lesson 19. It's okay to speed. You're driving too fast. Why do you say that? The speed limit is 65. I know that. But you're doing 75. So is everyone else. But a cop might stop you. No, he won't. Some cars are doing 85. So the cop will stop those cars? Of course. He stops the fastest cars. My friend got a ticket for doing 75. Your friend was unlucky. Lesson 20. Two birds with one stone. Uh, when are we going to stop? We'll stop at the next McDonald's. How far away is that? I think we'll be there in half an hour. I hope so. I have to go to the bathroom. Well, I can always pull over. No, thank you. I'll just wait. We can kill two birds with one stone. What do you mean? While you're using the bathroom, I'll order some food. Don't order for me. I'm not hungry. I'm very hungry. I'll order for you, and then I'll eat yours. Lesson 21. A bad driver? Good afternoon, officer. Your driver's license and registration, please. Here you go. Uh, do you know why I pulled you over? 
I have no idea. All of a sudden, I heard your siren. You rolled through that stop sign back there. But I stopped. No, you didn't. You slowed down, but you didn't come to a full stop. Well, nobody else does, so why should I? That's not the attitude of a good driver. But I am a good driver. I've never had a ticket in my life. Well, we've got one now. Here, have a nice day. Lesson one: School items. What do you need for school? I need pencils. Anything else? I need a notebook. Do you need a pen? No, I already have a pen. Do you need a calculator? No, the teacher doesn't permit calculators. How about a dictionary? No, we have a big dictionary in the classroom. Well, I guess that's it. Yes, that's all I need for now. Lesson two: I go to college. Do you go to college? Yes, I do. What college do you go to? I go to Pasadena City College. Do you like it? Oh yes, I really like it. Why do you like it? Because it has great teachers. What else? I like all my classmates too. Anything else? Yes, it's not expensive. Lesson three: new glasses. I can't read my book. Turn on the light. The light is on. Open the book. The book is open. See an eye doctor. That's what I need to do. He'll give you a prescription for glasses. I'll make an appointment tomorrow. I'll get the yellow pages for an eye doctor. Read the phone number to me. I'll read it very loud in case your hearing is getting bad too. Lesson four, two plus two. How good is your math? I can add two and two. So you're not very good at math. I'm terrible at math. Well, I need some help. With what? I'm taking a math course in school. Well, you should ask your teacher or your classmates for help. I can't do that. Why not? They might think I'm stupid. They're not going to think that. They'll be glad to help you. Lesson five: Do your homework. Have you done your homework? Not yet. Then why are you watching TV? This is my favorite show. Go do your homework. But, mom. You can watch TV after you do your homework. But the show will be over. There will be another show next week. <laughs> Please. You know the rules. I hate the rules. I can't wait till I grow up. Lesson six: No parking. Parking at school is impossible. I'll say. I drove around for half an hour. Did you find a spot? I found a spot, but someone cut in and took it from me. Did you yell at them? Yes, I did. And. And he yelled back at me. How rude! But I got lucky a few minutes later. You have to be lucky to find a parking space. Lesson seven: Hit and run. The cops finally found the husband. What husband? The husband of the driver who ran over two college students at 3 a.m. Oh yeah, the girl died instantly, and the boy is still in the hospital. The husband said he tried to help the boy. Yes, he pushed him off the hood of the car. No, he said he gently placed the boy on the street. So what? They still drove off. The husband said a fire department was nearby. 
So what? Did he dial 911? He said he was thinking about it, but he didn't get around to it. He didn't get around to turning himself in, either. Lesson 8. Gravity for All Gravity is very important. What is gravity? It's the force that pulls everything down. I don't understand. If you pour water into a glass, the water goes down into the glass. Of course it does. Without gravity, the water would go up. You're joking. Without gravity, you would go up. What do you mean? You would float into the sky like a balloon. That would be fun. Lesson 9. Keep your eyes open. This is a huge library. Yes, it has lots of rooms and lots of space. And lots of books. And lots of thieves. What do you mean? I mean, keep your belongings close to you. The only thing in my backpack is used books. But thieves don't know that. They might think that I've got an iPod or a laptop in there. Now you're thinking. You'd think a library would be safe from th thieves. Not even a church is safe from thieves. Lesson 10. A good magazine. I like this magazine. So do I. I read it once and I subscribed. It gives you all the news. All the news in only 50 pages. I like the political cartoons. I like the beautiful photos of the houses for sale. I always read the film reviews. I never miss the food and drink section. I gave a subscription to my parents. Me too. They canceled their other news magazines. So did mine. Lesson 11. The English Major what is your major? English. What are you going to do with an English major? I'm going to be a teacher. High school or middle school? High school. I teach high school English. I didn't know that. I started teaching five years ago. How do you like it? Do you see all these gray hair? It was totally black five years ago. Maybe I'll teach middle school. Lesson 12, Prayers. Do you believe in God? Of course. Do you pray to God? Occasionally. When's that? When I need something. Like what? Well, if I have a, a big test at school. Does God answer your prayers? Yes, I've passed all my tests. Do you ever pray for money? Not yet. I won't need that until I graduate from high school. Lesson 13. Shake your pen. My pen is out of ink. Shake it a couple of times. I shook it. There is no more ink. You can borrow mine. Thank you. I'll buy a new one tomorrow. What were you doing? I was writing a letter. Who were you writing to? It's to my mom. Tell her I said hello. Okay, I'll return your pen when I'm done. Take your time. Lesson 14, The Soldier I can't wait until I graduate. Me too. No more homework. I hate homework. Are you going to college? I can't afford it. Me neither. So, what are you going to do? I'm joining the army. You're kidding. You might get killed. I don't think so. After I finish, I'll have enough money to go to college. That's not a bad idea. Lesson 15 a lost pen. 
I lost my new pin. Where did you lose it? I don't know. When did you lose it? I think I lost it today. I used it yesterday. Did you check all your pockets? I checked all my pockets. Did you look in your desk? Yes, it isn't there either. It's probably around somewhere. Oh, well, it only cost me a dollar. Only a dollar? Don't even look for it. Lesson one A new face. Did you see the woman with the new face? Did she get a nice job? She got an everything job. What do you mean? A team of doctors gave her a whole new face. Why did they do that? A mad dog bit most of her face off. Oh, that's terrible. What does she look like now? Her face is really fat, but they say the swelling will go down. And then will she look normal again? I guess so. God bless modern medicine. Lesson two Another pimple. Oh no, another pimple on my face. Pimples suck. It seems like I get a new pimple almost every day. Maybe it's something in your diet. No, I eat the same things day after day. Then maybe it's in your genes. You might be right. Do pimples run in your family? Not that I've noticed. Well, maybe it's from the pollution in the air. Whatever the cause, I hate seeing them on my face. Well, on the bright side, they're fun to pop. Lesson three Too much stress. What did the doctor say? He thinks I have too much stress. Stress causes your stomach aches? Stress causes different problems with different people. So, what did he tell you to do? He said I need to think positive. He didn't give you any medication? I hate medication. It makes me feel different. So, how do you think positive? I think about nice things. Like what? Like a day at the beach with my toes in the sand. Lesson four a bad back. My back is killing me. What did you do? I got out of my car. That's it? I injured my back one time just by sneezing. Well, you should see a doctor. My doctor said I need surgery. So. So forget it. You don't have the money? I have no insurance. Maybe a back rub would help. Lesson 5 A Blood Stain. What's this stain? I don't know. It looks like blood. I think my nose was bleeding. You should wet your shirt immediately. Why? Because that gets the blood out of the shirt. What's a little blood? Your white shirt is ruined. So I'll just buy another one. You can wear this one around the house. Next time, I'll soak it immediately. Lesson 6. Nose Drops Do you have a cold? Yes, I do. How did you get it? My sister had a cold. She gave it to me. Have you taken anything for your cold? No, I just blow my nose a lot. Your nose is stopped up. Yes, I have to breathe through my mouth. Have you tried nose drops? No, I don't like nose drops. They work great. I don't care. I don't like to put drops in my nose. Lesson 7. A dirty remote. Our TV remote is filthy. Yes, it's covered with crud. 
I'm going to clean it. Don't use water on it. I'll use a damp cloth. Don't let water get into any of the cracks. I'll squeeze the cloth so it's almost dry. Don't rub the numbers off the remote. I will rub gently but firmly. Do it quickly, please, so I can change channels during commercials. I'll give it back to you in a couple of minutes. Maybe we should put it in a plastic bag to keep it clean. Lesson 8, Quitting Smoking I can't quit smoking. Of course you can. I don't have enough willpower. Of course you do. I wish I had never started. So does every smoker. I've tried to quit so many times. So has everyone else. Nothing seems to work. All it takes is willpower, and you have it. Then why can't I quit? You have to believe in yourself. Lesson 9. Brush, brush. I hate brushing my teeth. It's such a chore. Brush, brush. Spit, spit. What did they do in the old days? They brushed with their fingers. They also ate with their fingers. Why did they call it the good old days? Maybe because they didn't have to brush and floss. Who invented flossing? A dentist, I'm sure. I hate flossing more than brushing. I can't wait till all my teeth fall out. Lesson 10. No need to worry. Do you believe everything you hear? I don't believe anything. I don't see with my own eyes. You can't believe what you hear on TV or radio? You can't believe what you read in the newspapers. Everyone tells you a different story about the same thing. Three different people will give you three different stories. And the government will give you a fourth story. Yes, like the government says not to worry about the swine flu. But the swine flu just killed 20 people in Mexico. The government says we have nothing to worry about. Then why are some schools telling the kids to stay home? The government says to wash our hands frequently and we'll be okay. Lesson 11, a stomachache. I have a stomachache. Is it something you ate? Maybe. I'm not sure. What did you have for breakfast? The usual cereal with milk and a banana. Maybe the milk was bad. It didn't smell bad. Maybe the banana was bad. No, the banana was delicious. Maybe you just need to go to the bathroom. No, that's not the problem. Maybe it will go away in a little while. Lesson 12, a paper cut. Ouch! I cut my finger! <gasps> How did you do that? It's a paper cut. Paper can be dangerous. It hurts, too. Paper cuts can hurt a lot. Where are the band-aids? I think they're in the medicine cabinet. It's on the tip of my finger. A band-aid might not work. I must not use this finger until the cut heals. It might take a day or two to heal. Lesson 13, a sore hand. There's something wrong with my right hand. What's wrong with it? It aches most of the time. What do you think it is? I don't know. I think it's old age. If it's old age, why don't both of your hands hurt? That's a good question. Maybe it's not old age. Are you right-handed? Yes, all my life. You're wearing out your right hand. Stop using it so much. But I do all my writing with my right hand. Start typing instead. That way your left hand will do half of the work. Lesson 14, three a day. My brother smokes three packs a day. Three packs of what? 
Cigarettes, of course. How can he do that? When he's almost finished with one cigarette, he uses it to light another. He's a chain smoker. He's been a chain smoker for 30 years. That's unbelievable. Can he still breathe? He can, but the people around him can't. How can he still be alive? His doctor says his heart and lungs are strong and healthy. Maybe I should start smoking. Lesson 15, An Earful of Pain My ear is killing me. What's the matter? I was on a plane. So? So, every time the plane goes up, my ears start to hurt. That's no good. Sometimes the pain goes away and sometimes it doesn't. Have you seen a doctor? I've been to two doctors. And they couldn't fix your problem? They both said I have to live with it. Or you can stay off planes. Lesson 16, Sore Fingers My fingers hurt. Why do they hurt? I type too much. You should take a break. I need to type to make money. But typing is causing you pain. Maybe I should see a doctor. Doctors are too expensive. He might tell me to rest for a while. He might want to cut you open. He might say I'm okay. He might say you have bone cancer. Lesson 17. Use a tissue. Don't pick your nose. I wasn't picking my nose. What were you doing? I was scratching my nose. I think I know the difference between picking and scratching. Okay, Mom. Maybe I was picking it a little bit. Use a tissue next time. I didn't have a tissue. Then wait till you find a tissue. I couldn't wait. It was an emergency. Oh, really? Maybe you should have called 911. It wasn't that kind of emergency. Lesson 18. Cigarette smoke. Do you smell that? Oh, yes. I can't stand cigarette smoke. It smells so bad. One cigarette stinks up the whole sidewalk. Smokers think they are so cool. They are so weak. A little cigarette controls them. They look so stupid taking a puff. And then they blow smoke out of their mouth. They think it's cool. Cigarettes stink. Lesson 19, A Hot Hike Let's stop for a while. I need a break in some water. This trail is hard to climb. Especially on a hot day like this. I can't believe we haven't seen any animals. Thank goodness. I don't want to see any wild animals. All we've seen so far is a couple of lizards. We're hiking to lose weight, not to see goats and bears. I bet I've lost a couple of pounds already. All you've lost is some sweat. I haven't even lost one pound of fat. If you want to lose fat, you've got to do this hike every day. Okay, but let's hike in town. At least there are dogs and cats to see. Lesson 20, Skin Cancer Would you put suntan lotion on my back, please? Sure. Thank you. You shouldn't lie in the sun for too long. I want to get a tan. I don't want to look so pale. What's wrong with looking pale? People think you might be sick. Who thinks that? I don't know. It's better to be pale than to have skin cancer. I know that. So why are you arguing with me? Don't lie in the sun too long. Lesson 1. A good singer. That woman is a very good singer. Yes, but she looks like a man. What difference does it make? Female singers are supposed to be pretty. Singers are supposed to sound good. They should look good, too. 
There are lots of ugly men singers. Men singers don't have to look good. Then neither do women singers. Well, I would never buy her CD. But you would buy her CD if she was pretty? Yes, I would buy all of her CDs. Lesson 2, a great movie. Did you see Titanic? Yes, it is a great movie. I saw it 12 times. I saw it 8 times. I have the DVD. So do I. Let's go to your home. We can watch my DVD. And then we can go to my home. And watch your DVD. I always cry at the end. Me too. It's so sad. Lesson 3. A chilly day. Let's take a walk. What's the weather like? Let me step outside and see. It's a little chilly, right? Yes, it is. I'll put on my cap. Wear a jacket, too. I wonder if I should bring my gloves. Maybe you should, just in case it gets colder. I'll put a glove in each pocket. We'll get warmer as we walk. Yes, but it gets colder as the sun goes down. Lesson 4, Going Digital All the TV stations are going to go digital. Yes, that will occur next month. Most of them are already broadcasting in digital. The digital signal is very clear. Oh no, it isn't. What do you mean? I can't get a single channel. Do you have a digital TV? Of course, but I don't have cable. You don't need to have cable, but you do need a good antenna. But I have rabbit ears. Rabbit ears aren't strong enough. Buy a digital antenna. Lesson 5, The Beatles. The Beatles are the best. They are the best musical group ever. I love their songs. I don't know which one I like the best. I like the ones I can sing along with. So do I, like, she loves you. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know you should be glad. What a great song. How about Let It Be? Oh, yes, let it be, let it be. There will be an answer, let it be. Lesson 6, Old Movies Oh, the movies are the best. Even though they're in black and white? A good story is more important than color. Actors didn't curse back then. And there was no violence. People today don't like that. No, today people like lots of action. I like a good story. I like to see actors who are like real people. Like real people with real problems. They still make movies like that. Yes, but they never make much money. Lesson 7. Too much volume. Turn the radio down, please. But I'm listening to it. Well, listen to it more quietly. I can't wait till I grow up. What will you do? I will play the radio as loud as I want. That's okay with me. I will have a radio in every room of my house. Remind me to never visit you. All the radios will be on extra loud. Your neighbors will hate you. If they don't like it, they can move. Lesson 8 the Great Wall. I love my computer. Computers are so cool. I love to go online. The internet is amazing. You can travel all over the world. I know. I went to China yesterday. What did you do? 
I stood on the Great Wall and looked all around. What was it like? It was like the real thing. It was like being there? Yes, I felt like I was actually there. Lesson 9, Judge Judy. I love to watch Judge Judy. Is that a TV show? Yes, it's on every afternoon. What's so good about it? They have interesting lawsuits. Such as? Yesterday, a woman complained about a cell phone she bought on eBay. Was something wrong with the phone? It works only in Canada. Did the seller know that? Yes, and he didn't tell the buyer. I hope Judge Judy made the seller take the phone back. Lesson 10, Rain Out. What's on TV? Mm, nothing much. What about the baseball game? It got rained out. Rained out? Yes, rained out. How could that be? Well, you can't play baseball in a rainstorm. I thought they were playing under a dome. The dome doesn't close. Why doesn't it close? Who knows? They said they'll fix it before next season. Lesson 11, a card game. Let's play cards. I don't know any card games. I'll teach you one. Okay, what will you teach me? It's called poker. Is it easy to learn? Yes, it will only take about 30 minutes. Okay, teach me how to play. We each get five cards. Oh, look, I have four tens. That's great, but you're not supposed to tell me. Oh, sorry, okay, I don't have four tens. Lesson 12, People Watching. What's your favorite thing to do? I like to watch people. That's your favorite thing to do? Well, it's one of them. Where do you go to watch people? My girlfriend and I sit outside Starbucks. That sounds like a good spot. We watch people walk by with their dogs. I guess you see lots of different dogs. We don't even know what kind most of them are. There are lots of different kinds, but they all have one thing in common. Yes, they love to sniff each other when they meet. Do you get PBS on TV? Yes, everybody gets the public broadcasting system. It puts me to sleep. Tell me about it. A gardening show follows a knitting show. A cooking show follows a sewing show. A travel show follows another travel show. I'll say, I've gone around the world a dozen times already. Now they're adding old TV shows to the old movies. I sure would like to see something interesting for a change. If more people donate money, PBS could offer new shows. Who wants to donate? Public TV should be free. Lesson 14. It isn't news. TV news is so stupid. They shouldn't even call it news. Last night, they told us about a cat in a sofa. Yesterday, they told us about a dog in a pipe. Last week, they told us about a bear in a backyard. Last month, they told us about a mouse in a restaurant. The weatherman tells us the temperature in every town. The sports guy shows us players fighting. They always tell us what's next. They always make what's next sound exciting, but it never is. It's more like news for kids. They should have kid reporters. Lesson 15. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your money. I hope I win the lotto. Your chances are very small. But you can't win if you don't play. Ha! You can't win if you do play. <laughs>
So it has to win. That's what everyone says. Might as well be me. That's what everyone says. You're trying to tell me something? That didn't take long. You think I should quit playing? Save your money for school. Lesson 16, free money. They call him Father Dollar Bill. Yes, he was on the TV news today. Every Easter Sunday, he gives away money. Is it his money? No, movie stars give him money to give to homeless people. How much money does he give away? This year, he gave away $15,000. That's a lot of money. He gave $100 to people in wheelchairs. What about the other homeless people? They get $1 each. People stood in line just to get $1? Lesson 17, A Crazy Driver Look at the car chase on TV. That driver is crazy. I can't believe he hasn't crashed. How fast is he going? They say he's going 80 miles per hour. He's going to kill someone. Look, he just hit that car. Oh my goodness, no one is safe on the street. Now he's slowing down. Maybe he ran out of gas. Look, he just got out of the car and started running. I hope the police catch him. Lesson 18, a sip of coffee. Can I try your coffee? Sure, here you go. Hmm, that's not bad. There's nothing in it. What do you mean? I mean, it's just coffee. I figured that. It's not too bitter for you. It's a little bitter, but it's okay. There's no sugar or cream in it. No, it's a taste you have to get used to. Sort of like beer. Lesson 19. See a movie. Let's go see a movie. I'd rather not. Why not? You know I don't like crowds. Let's go to an early movie. Okay, that won't be very crowded. What would you like to see? Oh, I don't care. You're the one who wants to go out. Well, I want to go see The Pursuit of Happiness. What have you heard about it? It's based on a true story about a divorced man and his young son. Well, I hope it has a happy ending. Lesson 20. I have four aces. I'm a good card player. Why is that? Because I watch the other players. What do you mean? People will tell you if they have a good hand. How do they do that? For example, a friend of mine licks his lips. When he licks his lips, you know he has a good hand? I know he has a good hand, so I don't bet. He never wins your money? Nope, and it drives him crazy. He knows you can't read his mind. Maybe he thinks you are cheating.